Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to quench, temper, and sand this blade. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to straighten out this blade so it's nice and even on both sides. There's the one bevel, the left bevel, and I just, for some reason, it just does not want to get straight. I don't know what the deal is with that. Then we're gonna put in the forge and do our first temper. Right. Now my forge is not very big and I'm only using one burner just to save propane. And I have to take the sword and run it in and out so it gets an even heat over it. It's very important to do these temper cycles because if you don't, it can cause warpage in the quench, which is not good at all. And I'm going to do this twice. All right, it's time for the quench. Now this, the quench that you're gonna see is the second quench because the first quench did not work, did not harden properly, but this one hardened just fine. As soon as I got it in there, cooled it down properly, pulled it out, escaped the bottle. Now I'm going to temper it. This took a very long time, so you're gonna see a short portion of it because I don't have a proper torch for this. I probably could have used the propane forge, but I didn't want to take that chance. Now I'm going to start up on the sanding. This is very important to get everything all nice, even, and parallel. Now, you're only going to see, like I said, a short amount of sanding. This actually took me about 24 hours to get from 60 grits to 400 grit on the belts. Next, I'm going to draw some parallel lines across the blade and then draw a center line with this ruler so when I'm sanding I can get everything even. I'm also going to take the blade going this way across the sander to get the cutting edge even. Then I'm going to start working on this tang. The tang is still soft because there's no reason to have a hardened tang. I'm going to file out the high spots so it's all nice and even for when I put on the handle. I'm also going to file on the flat sides of the tang so those are even too because having an even tang is really important. I never really focused on how important it was until I watched other smiths work on swords. I'm also going to file on the tip because the tip is thicker than the rest of the blade. The reason why that is is because when you forge it in it gets chunkier towards the end where you put in the tip so now I'm going to have to work on that now because I didn't forge that out. So I'm going to file on both sides, get them all even, and then sand back in the center line. I'm also going to draw lines and arrows across the blade for the high spots so I can work those out with the belt sander. Now 
Now, we're gonna have to do some measurements on this tip because it's not 100% straight. So I'm gonna take a ruler and then draw some lines where I'm going to scribe a line with the dial calipers to make sure everything's 100% even. I'll write this on a piece of paper and then I'll divide it and then put the reading on the dial calipers and mark a center line. It was just a little bit to the left that was easily taken out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all really enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new, please subscribe. I hope you guys really do enjoy this. And uh, the next video is going to take me a while too, maybe another two to three weeks. So hang tight and you all have a good one.